Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a jailbreak update video for you guys regarding the latest jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 and what's been going on with that. So with that being said, guys, let's get straight into this video. Alright guys, so the last two videos were simultaneously uploaded together, so thank you guys so much for all the support. If you guys want, let's go ahead and try to reach 10 likes again on this video. If you guys have done it in the past, I know you guys can do it again. Also, don't forget to comment down anything down below jailbreak related for a chance to get pinned. So, let's go ahead and try to comment down something below regarding a jailbreak, and I'll go ahead and pin it if I think it's the best. So, the first thing I do want to talk about today is the signing window for iOS 10.3.2 is no longer being signed by Apple. So, recently, there has been a claim that there might be a potential jailbreak for iOS 10.3.2 it wasn't certain so now the only iOS versions that are being signed by Apple is iOS 10.3.3 as well as iOS 11's beta before it's released officially for the iPhone 8 so that's pretty much it guys iOS 10.3.2 is no longer being signed there was an actual glitch that happened with a signing window so I'm not sure if it is actually being signed right now but I'm gonna assume that it's just completely shut down for now for iOS 10.3.2 so the next thing I do want to talk about is the Phoenix jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 now like I said this jailbreak is a semi untethered jailbreak like the previous jailbreaks that we had and this is only for 32-bit devices so that means if you guys are on an iPad 2 I believe that has iOS 10 on it then you guys cannot jailbreak or downgrade back to iOS 9.3.5 since the signing window is no longer being signed for that particular version but if you guys have an iPhone 4s for example the iOS 9.3.5 is the last signed version for the 4s so that means it's now jailbreakable for life and with that being said Phoenix was just updated a couple times in the past couple days to version 3 right now so that same day once it was released there was actual problems and little glitches caused in the jailbreak which you guys can pause the screen right now and you guys can check out the change log that the developers have made on their website so right here that's pretty much it for the Phoenix jailbreak it is working perfectly fine for me on my iPad and just to let you guys know I do have an iPhone 4s that I have just purchased on eBay and it's coming in this weekend so I will be making a lot more videos regarding the 9.3.5 jailbreak and a lot more tutorials on how to downgrade it without SHSH blobs as well if I get the chance to learn and do that for myself so the next thing and last thing that I want to talk about is the same thing with the jailbreak for iOS 9.3.5 and for the developer of proxy is what I'm going to assume to how you pronounce it iOS 9.3.5 tweeted by him was saying that there might be a potential untethered jailbreak for this particular version with bugs that were patched in iOS 10.x so with that being said guys, this jailbreak for the iPhone 4S may be a potential last jailbreak that makes the 4S the best jailbreakable device that we have currently today, which allows us to upgrade crash the whole entire device be able to restore it and jailbreak it or in fact downgrade it because I know and I've seen a couple posts on the subreddit claiming that users are downgrading with a particular tool in order to downgrade all the way back to iOS 6 so that's pretty crazy guys and that's pretty much it for this update video not too much to say for this one but I will update you guys on anything new that happens so if you guys like this video go ahead and leave a like down below also subscribe to get videos just like this in the future as well as those tutorials videos like I said for the iPhone 4s that will be coming in shortly in the mail for me so stay on the lookout for that don't forget to snapshot this outro or add me on snapchat and you guys can just follow me on there as well don't forget to also follow me on my Twitter page and my Facebook page to be informed on anything jailbreak related and what's been going on inside of the jailbreak world so with that being said guys to see you guys in my next video this is elite Apple hacks signing out